Hey guys, you're welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time here, if this is your first time on my channel, if this is your first time seeing me, you are absolutely welcome. My name is Adi Doing, and I create content around natural hair, natural hair care, natural hairstyles. And if that sounds like you know the kind of content you'll be able to relate to, you want to see more of hairstyling videos, hair care videos, natural hair videos, then you definitely want to stick around. You want to go through my channel and kindly consider subscribing to my channel as well. That's very important. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a very simple natural hair regimen that i'm sure that if you can follow it then you are, you'll be able to retain as much length as possible because i realized that a number of people actually struggle with retaining length and, and people say that oh i'm finding it difficult to grow my hair and stuff like that the truth is your hair is actually growing you are just the one who is not retaining the length i mean the length that you are producing from your scalp if that makes sense okay so your hair is actually growing so i'm going to be sharing with you in this video a very very simple and very very basic natural hair hair regimen that you can follow and i'm very sure that you'll be able to retain as much length as possible now the thing is this regimen might not work for everybody because we have different lifestyles we have different schedules but basically it should be able to work for you if you are someone who doesn't like to do a lot to your natural hair you might change a few things here and then just to suit your own lifestyle but i'm basically just going to be telling you the basic things and the simple regimen that you need to follow in order to be able to retain as much length as possible okay so if that sounds like something you might be interested in if you want to hear more of what i have to say in this video then you definitely want to keep on watching <music> So the first thing I'm going to be talking about is shampooing your hair. If you're not wearing any protective hairstyle that you're going to keep on your hair for about one month or more than a month, then I feel like you should be able to shampoo your hair once a week or once in two weeks, okay? Because shampooing your hair actually helps you to be able to get rid of dirt and that way you'll be able to moisturize your hair very properly because I honestly believe that you get the most moisture when you shampoo your hair properly, okay? So you want to shampoo your hair once a week or once in two weeks whichever one works for you whichever one suits your schedule whichever one suits your lifestyle okay so you need to so you need to actually take shampooing really seriously except you're wearing a long-term protective hairstyle then that is when you can shampoo your hair when you take down the long-term protective hairstyle but otherwise then you can opt for shampooing your hair once a week or once in two weeks okay okay so the next thing like i said this regimen is going to be very very basic because the problem people have is not retaining length because your hair is actually growing and if you are able to retain length if your hair doesn't break off at the hands or at the tip then you'll be able to actually retain length the the growth that you are producing from your scalp you'll be able to retain it and you'll be able to see an improvement in the length of your hair so the second thing that i'm going to be talking about is deep conditioning your hair i'm assuming we all know the importance of deep conditioning your hair if you do not know about deep conditioning your hair i have a whole video on how to deep condition your hair the link is going to be in the description box you might want to check that video out after watching this video okay i've seen quite a number of people who, who have said that you know deep conditioning their hair every week doesn't actually work for them and they don't like the way their hair feels or the way their hair reacts to deep conditioning every week honestly i deep condition my hair every time i shampoo my hair you also have to try a number of things to see which one works for you but on a very basic note because we are talking about basic natural hair regimen in this video you may want to deep condition your hair every wash days it is advisable for you to deep condition your hair every wash days and if you cannot deep condition your hair every wash day maybe due to one reason or the other then you may want to deep condition your hair every you know twice in a month or once in a month depending on what type of deep conditioning treatment that you are using if you're using a protein deep conditioner then you may not want to deep condition your hair every wash day because that may lead to protein overload or you know your hair might break down that way but if you are using a balancing deep conditioner which i use most of the time the one that has an equal balance of moisture and protein yeah that is the one i use most of the time and i use that every wash days okay so deep conditioning is very important because it actually helps to infuse protein or moisture into your hair so when you are using a balancing deep conditioner you may you may actually use that every wash day if that makes sense yes you may use that every wash day but if you cannot you know deep condition your hair every wash day for example if you are using a protein deep conditioner then you may use a protein deep conditioner once in a month and a moisture deep conditioner maybe twice in a month if that makes sense okay 
Applying a leave-in conditioner is actually kind of important because it actually helps to add more moisture to your hair. Honestly speaking, when I started my own natural hair journey, I wasn't using any leave-in conditioner. After shampooing my hair, deep conditioning my hair, I just spray my hair with some water and I seal it with oil and I'm done. I'm basically done. So that was what I usually do. But now I use a leave-in conditioner for my hair. And you want to apply leave-in conditioner on your hair every time you wash your hair. Once you shampoo your hair, and you, deep, and you finish deep conditioning your hair, either you deep condition your hair or you use a rinse out conditioner, whichever one you, you, you use on a particular wash day, you want to use a leave-in conditioner after doing that or after doing the whole process of shampooing and deep conditioning your hair because it also helps to add more moisture to your hair. Okay, so you should use that on every wash day, every time you wash your hair. So now that we are done with the wash day, there are some other things that you need to do to be able to retain length and that is protective styling. After you have, you know, washed your hair, you have applied leave-in conditioner, you have sealed in the moisture and all of that stuff, you also need to put your hair in a protective style, either a short-term protective style or a long-term protective style. For example, the one on my head right now is a short-term protective style because I do not intend to keep it for more than a week. In fact, I may take it down in like four days or five days but within the four or five days or within a week that i'm going to be carrying my hair i am not going to touch it i'm not going to do anything to it my hands will be kept away from my hair the only thing i can do is to maybe brush my edges and brush my edges and lay my hair just to make it look good the act the actual secret to retaining as much length as possible is you know keeping your hands away from your hair as much as possible okay if you want to style your hair you want to go for hairstyles that do not require a lot of manipulation a lot of manipulation okay and you want to go for hairstyles that are not tight around your edges okay so for example if you want to install braids you want to make sure that that braid is something that you can keep for a long term because you know braids is actually it's not a braid is actually not a low manipulation hairstyle so if you want to do braids that means you want to keep it for a long time so that that way your hands will be off your hair. Most of the hairstyles that I do myself are actually low manipulation hairstyles. They don't require you combing your hair a lot and you can just do a little thing to your hair and your hair will be kept away for a short period of time. The type of hairstyles that I do most of the time are short term protective hairstyles because, you know, as a natural hair blogger, I get to touch my hair all the time. I get to touch my hair most of the time and I get to, you know, create new hairstyles, okay? But if you are not a natural hair blogger, if you are not a blogger, then you want to keep your hair in a short term protective style or a long term protective style. If that makes sense so another thing i would also like to talk about that i feel like you should incorporate into your regimen is trimming your hair okay you shouldn't be trimming your hair every time i mean there should be a limit to how often you trim your hair for example i personally do not trim my hair all the time i only trim my hair once in a year and if my hair has gone through a lot in a particular year then i trim it twice in that particular year okay just check your hair and see if you have enough split ends to know whether you need to trim your hair or not but i will tell you that you will need to trim your hair at some point in time because i've heard some people some natural hair vloggers as well say that they've never trimmed their hair and i can say for a fact that that kind of hair if you eventually stretch that hair if you eventually straighten that hair you realize that that kind of hair we have more split ends than somebody who has been you know trimming a hair maybe once in a hair or just as often as needed you don't need to be trimming all the time don't get me wrong you don't need to be trimming your hair all the time i'm just saying that you need to trim your hair so that you'll be able to get rid of split ends and so you don't have so much split ends at the end of the day because you don't want a situation whereby maybe your hair is now long and you want to straighten your hair or you just want to stretch your hair and you realize that you have a lot of split ends split ends are not good i mean you will not like it you will not like it at all because i know that split ends will not stop your hair from growing they will definitely not stop your hair from growing but you will not like the way they will look on the at the ends of your hair when you eventually straighten your hair or when you eventually stretch your hair out so another thing that you have to be doing every time is if you are not on a long-term protective hairstyle like braids or locks if you're on short-term protective hairstyles like the one on my head right now then you also want to consider protecting your hair whenever you want to sleep either sleeping on a satin pillowcase or is or covering your hair with a satin bonnet okay whichever one works for you but you will need to be protecting your hair 
anytime you want to sleep okay so those are the basic things that's a simple natural hair regimen that i'm going to be sharing with you in today's video every other thing that you might think that i did not mention in this video for example rice water diy like ayurvedic herbs like cherry butter and other things i feel like they are just additional stuff and you might not need them to grow long healthy natural hair if you can follow these simple things that i just said you will be able to see an improvement in the length of your hair okay yeah so that's basically it for this video guys i hope you find it helpful let me know in the comment section if you enjoyed watching this video do not forget to subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up and i will definitely catch you guys in my next video bye